Union Budget of India 2023-24 Its Key Features The central government's expenditure is presented and authorized by Parliament through the Union Budget every financial year. Article 113 of the Constitution requires all expenses, except charged payment, to be submitted as demands for grants, ministry-wise, to Lok Sabha. The demands for grants are referred to the ministries' respective departmentally-related standing committees for further examination. Following this, they are discussed in Lok Sabha and approved. After Lok Sabha authorized the demands, an appropriation bill was introduced and passed to permit expenditure from the Consolidated Fund of India. Union Budget of India 2023-24 the Union Budget 2023-24 was presented on 1st February 2023 by the Finance Minister Mrs. Nirmala Sitaraman. It proposes to spend 45 lakhs 3,097 crore rupees in the financial year. Revenue expenditures are estimated to be 35 lakhs 2,136 crore rupees, a 1.2% increase from revised estimates for 2022-23. Interest expenditure is 41% of revenue receipts. Capital expenditure is estimated to be 10 lakhs 961 crore rupees, a 37.4% increase from revised estimates for 2022 23. Increased capital expenditure is driven by higher outlay on transport infrastructure and state capital loans. The highlights of expenditure of Union Budget of India 2023-24 in various ministries' departments include the following. Here are some the highlights of expenditure of Union Budget of India 2023-24 in various ministries' departments include the following. 1. Defence. The Ministry of Defence has been allocated 5,93,538 crore rupees, the largest across all ministries, and accounts for over 13% of the total expenditure of the central government. Over the last decade, the expenditure of the ministry as a percentage of GDP has reduced in Union Budget of India. In 2023-24, its allocation is estimated to be marginally lower than 2% of GDP. Since 2014-15, the spending on defence pensions has been consistently higher than 20% of the total budget and capital outlay has remained below 30%. 2. Road Transport and Highways The ministry has been allocated to 1,70,435 crore rupees, 25% higher than the revised estimates for 2022-23 in Union Budget of India. Most of the additional allocation, 60%, has been earmarked for investment in NHAI. The budgetary allocation has increased since NHAI will not borrow from the market. Construction of roads is primarily done through public funds. Private investment constituted 7% of investment in roads in 2020-21. 3. Railways In 2023-24, railways is projected to have a marginal revenue surplus, which would fund less than 1% of its capital expenditure plan. 92% of capital expenditure will be financed by budgetary support from the central government and 7% from extra-budgetary resources. The operating ratio, expenditures as proportionate to traffic works receipts, is 98.5%, indicating a limited surplus for capital investment in Union Budget of India. 4. Agriculture the ministry has been allocated 1,25,036 crore rupees in 2023-24, a 5% increase over the revised estimates for 2020-23. 77% of the ministry's estimated expenditure is towards three schemes that provide cash transfer, interest subsidy, and crop insurance. The amount of institutional credit to farmers has risen. 7.8% over the past 10 years, but loans are primarily used to meet revenue expenditure in farming or recurring household expenditure. Conclusion The Union Budget of India 2023-24 aims to revitalize the economy, promote inclusive growth, and tackle India's challenges. It invests heavily in infrastructure development, 
social welfare, job creation, tax reforms, and the financial sector, aiming to establish India as a global economic powerhouse. Successful implementation will shape India's future trajectory. Thank you for watching this video. Visit mbagdtopics.com for more. Let us know what you think in the comments section below and also don't forget to like, share and subscribe.